Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. We are continuing with our lessons from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast by Ayat Abdullah Al-Qarni, which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 105. Lesson 22. How can we revive the traditions in Ramadan? The leader and model of the Islamic nation is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. There is no happiness except through following him. No prosperity can be achieved except by following in his footsteps. Allah Almighty says, Those who shall follow the last apostle, the unlettered prophet, whom they shall find described in the Torah that is with them, and later on in the Gospel, the prophet who will enjoin upon them the doing of what is right and forbid them the doing of what is wrong, and make lawful to them the good things of life and forbid them the bad things. Quran 7 verse 157. After his coming, no one will enter paradise except by following his way. His sunnah, way, is like the ship of Noah. Whoever boards it will be saved. Whomsoever turns his back on it will be destroyed. Allah says, Verily, in the apostle of God, you have a good example for everyone who looks forward with hope and awe to God and the last day and remembers God unceasingly. Quran 33 verse 21. In a moving sermon that brought tears to the eyes of his companions, the Prophet peace be upon him said, You must keep to my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided caliphs. Cling to them stubbornly. Beware of newly invented matters, for every invented matter is an innovation, and every innovation is a going astray. He also said, Whomever so desires other than my way is not from me. And he who does an act with which our matter is not in agreement will have it rejected. Still, on the importance of following his messenger, Allah Almighty says, Now, whenever God and his apostle have decided a matter, it is not for a believing man or a believing woman to claim freedom of choice insofar as they themselves are concerned. Quran 33 verse 36 In another chapter of the Noble Quran, Allah prohibited the presentation of oneself before himself and the Prophet. O oh, you have attained to faith, do not put yourselves forward in the presence of what God and his Apostle may have ordained. Quran 49 verse 1 The month of Ramadan is a blessed season in which to revive the pure traditions within the self, home and society. Concerning the general traditions which the fasting Muslim must affect and uphold at all times, they include what was authenticated by Imam Muslim and the other five Imams in their collections. Say Bukhari, Sunan al-Ibn Majah, Sunnah ibn Dawud, Jama'i al-Dirmadi and Sunan al-Nisai, that the Prophet peace be upon him said, Ten things are from natural disposition, cutting the moustache, allowing the beard to grow, inhaling water, cutting the finger and toenails, washing the knuckles, clipping the hairs of the armpit, shaving the pubic hairs and being prudent in the use of water. It was also confirmed that the Prophet peace be upon him prohibited the dragging of one's lower garments on the ground. According to this directive, in the collection of Imam Muslim, Allah's Messenger said, Allah will not look at the one who drags his garment on the ground out of vanity. In a related hadith, he further warned, Whatever is below the ankle is in the fire. The authentic books of hadith also establish that the Prophet peace be upon him prohibited many things. According to a hadith narrated by Anas in the collections of Muslim, Abu Dawud and al tirmidhi he forbade that a man should stand and drink. Likewise, in another hadith narrated by Ibn Umar and collected by Bukhari, the Prophet peace be upon him forbade that a man should stand and then sit in his seat to greet or show respect to someone else. Also, in a hadith narrated by Jabir in the collection of Al-Nisai, he prohibited the male from touching his penis with his right hand, from walking in the shoe of a female, 
wearing a garment turned upside down, sitting with one's legs drawn up and wrapped in one's garment without anything covering one's private parts. Furthermore, Ahmed transmitted on the authority of Abu Sa'id that the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade that a man should walk in the shoe or slippers of a female. Sal ibn Sa'id narrated that Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, prohibited blowing into a drink, al-Tabarani. Anas again narrated, al-Nisai, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, forbade eating and drinking from gold and silver wares. Both Imams, Ahmad and al-Nisai, transmitted an authentic hadith in which the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade men from wearing gold and silk, but allowed them for women. On matters of worship, the Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade the performance of prayer between al-Fajr, the morning prayer, and the rising of the sun, and between al-Asr, the mid-afternoon prayer, and the setting of the sun, Bukhari and Muslim. Anas narrated that he also forbade the offering of prayers to graves, Ibn Hibban, Sahih. He prohibited sleep before al-Isha, the night prayer. He forbade loud wailing, Abu Daud, Hadith Sahih. Plucking off the grey hair, Al-Tirmidhi al-Nisai ibn Majah, Sahih. Fasting on Friday, Yom al by itself, Bukhari and Muslim. The selling of surplus water, Muslim. Tattooing, Ahmed, Sahih. Among the established traditions is that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used a small stick, Siwak, to clean and polish his teeth. He said, if I did not want to make it difficult for my nation, I would have ordered them to clean their teeth, do siwak, during every ablution. In other hadiths, it says at the performance of each prayer, the Prophet peace be upon him also said, cleaning the teeth with siwak purifies the mouth and earns the pleasure of the Lord. Other notable traditions include the offering of two units, rakatain, in prayer of salutation to the mosque before sitting in it. One should enter the mosque with the right foot and leave with the left. He should wear his right shoe first and take off the left side first. A visitor must seek permission to enter by knocking or greeting three times. If permission is not granted, the visitor should go away. This was confirmed in a Sahih Hadith. Altogether, these Ahadith point to practical and daily traditions. O oh Allah, help us to follow the way of the Prophet, peace be upon him, effect and preserve them. That was the end of today's lesson. Please do join us tomorrow for the next lesson. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.